Well, we're going to try to fix it. We'll see what this entails. Lord, if it ain't one thing, it's another. I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day. For all this junk I keep My neighbors all hate me They abuse and berate me Cause I like doing it cheap Yeah, I like doing it cheap Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap We're about to work on this tire. Looks like the tube's got a hole in it. But the leak's down pretty quick. And a lot of people would use uh, screwdrivers to work around the bead, you know, to take the tire off. But screwdrivers have sharp edges on them. So here's what Papa uses. I use tablespoons. See there? Your tablespoon ain't gonna, it's got rounded corners. It ain't gonna dig into that, that tire or that tube and cause more leaks. Well, heck, this tip right here is worth the whole video. Let's get with it. Now that's what I call a tire spoon. So what did we learn from that? Make sure all the air is out of the tube before you try to pull it out. Damn, I forgot, forgot to check. I just thought the whole thing was flat, but still has some air in it, as you can see. All right, well. Where'd that leak at? A little bitty tiny pinhole right there. All right. Well, let's get the stuff to fix it. Now I'm gonna do a step that I don't know if it's necessary or not, but it's something I like to do whenever I'm having to use these cold patches that just count on glue making them work. And what that is is I used soapy water to find where this tube was bubbling to find the leak well I've never seen glue that likes to stick to a surface that's got soap on it so I look for something to clean it with rubbing alcohol denatured alcohol whatever 
and I found some carburetor and air intake cleaner. Brake parts cleaners were, you know, just anything to make sure that we get that soap off of there. And that makes that rubber clean. Okay, next step, scuff it up a little bit because we got a tube or patch to put on here. Real simple. Same principle as fixing an inner tube on your bicycle. Now let's put a little glue on it. I'm not cheap when it comes to putting glue on there because I want that sucker to stick. I don't have to take this thing apart again. We'll let that dry. Right now is a good time to inspect the inside of the tire to see if we can find what might have poked through here to make that little hole. And I like to take a rag or a paper towel and wipe the inside of the tube because if there's something sharp still sticking in there, you're gonna you're gonna detect it on that uh, rag or on that paper towel. So we just go through here and see if we can feel anything catching. I don't like to just run my bare hand in there because if it's sharp, I don't want to cut my fingers. Well, whatever poked it apparently didn't stay in the tire. One thing about these cheap made in China tires, they just barely qualify to be called a tire, I think. All right. Okay. <clears throat> no activity, so that's good. Well, Joe, I think we've got it. Oh, we check that valve stem. Make sure there's no bubbling coming out of there. It all looks good. All right. Well, now I'll let the air out of here, and then we will uh, put her back in. All right, first place you want to put this 
is you want to put that valve stem in the hole. It don't do any good to put this tube in there anywhere else if you don't have a valve stem lined up. Another great helper is a pair of channel locks, where you take them channel locks and like put them right there, and then that holds that tire as you work your way on around. And then, when you get through using these, you can go have a lunch. <laughs> well, Joe, I think I've got it. All right, we'll let that set a while. We'll let that set a while, make sure it don't leak down. Well, it's a lot cooler under here than it is sitting out there in the sunshine. It's supposed to get in the 80s today. Today is May 2nd, 2022. And it just seemed like every time I tried to get something done, there's something else that, that takes priority. Like going out there and planting me some more tomatoes. That gum tire flat on a garden cart <sighs> oh well anyway it looks like we got it and uh, I appreciate you sticking around watching it, it for a lot of y'all it's just a such a simple task to do and for others they're just absolutely amazed because they've never thought of how to fix that flat or maybe they take it to somewhere to get it done and you saw me do it with a couple of tablespoons. <laughs> Folks, I hope you learned something today. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. I love comments. Yeah, I like